start by talking about your reaction to the MPC decision. I know the last time that you were on the show, you were of the opinion that CBN would widen the MPE corridor to stimulate the economy. So it would be good to, to know your reaction now. Hi, Didi. Hi. Um, when, the February, when the January inflation figures were released in February uh, at 9%, our opinion was that the CBM might want to widen the plus or minus 2% corridor around the NPR in order to stimulate activities because most of the funds in the, in the system then was geared towards savings. However, with the release of the February inflation figures at 9.5%, our opinion was that the CBN might want to maintain the status quo. In as much as there was pressure to ease the NPR, the status quo was maintained in order to in order to curtail inflation and to curb the inflation rates from going higher. Okay, now it would be really good to know your opinion on how the market is actually going to react to this because a lot of people actually feel like that decision has already been priced in and that we should actually expect trading to be largely driven by liquidity and the supply of bills to the uh, central bank. So it would be interesting to know your view. Okay. Um, in my opinion, I would say the MPC decisions to maintain the status quo has already been priced in and nothing has changed. The forces that have been affecting markets will continue to affect it as it is and it will continue to be business as usual. However, there was some expectation of a cut in rates and now that the rates... Sorry? There was some expectation uh, of a cut in, in the NPR, and now that the rate remains unchanged, uh, do you think that we'll start to see a reversal in regards to uh, yields in the fixed income space? Okay, um, the reasons why there were a drop in yield in the fixed income markets in the month of February was because of the high level of liquidity in the system during the period. If you recall, we had over 489 billion worth of bond maturities in February. That's aside other major inflows that also came into the system during the period. Yes, some counterparties might have taken positions expecting the MPC to cut rates, but that never happened. Currently, we've seen yields going back up as counterparties are selling down positions, as they are unable, as in, they are actually no longer able to sell to the FDIs. They are no longer able to sell OMO bills to the FDIs. Currently, and also, the rate at the auctions has been a single digit. Currently, the CBN has been selling more volumes as they have decided to increase rates to, in order to increase appetite for the securities. Okay, now, Ramat, the bond issuance calendar was, of course, released yesterday, and it will be good to... Um, to know where you think demand would be greatest. I mean, do you think investors are going to buy uh, into the short dated or longer dated bonds? Sorry, I didn't get that question. The bond issuance calendar that was released yesterday, it would be good to know your opinion on where you think demand will be greatest when these bonds are issued. Um, well, I'll say for, uh, most people might be interested in the long-dated securities, given that the MPC might, uh, might want to cut rates in the days to come, so they might just want to lock in yields now.